Good morning and welcome to the 2021 CETA BIM Gathering Virtual Conference. My name is Alan Hoare. I'm based in the School of Surveying and Construction Management in TU Dublin. I'm also one of the founders of the Construction IT Alliance over 20 years ago, and I'm proud to be the chair of this conference. The gathering many of you may know was an initiative in 2013 by the Irish government to encourage tourism in Ireland, but to attract the diaspora to return home to celebrate all that was unique about Ireland's culture and heritage. My fellow director, Ralph Montague of Arcdox, thought that this would be a good idea in the construction industry. And so the gathering was born. This fifth gathering is a different gathering. We're just coming out of a pandemic and merging from the grip of COVID-19. I do wish you all my personal best wishes. This week, we've seen students returning to campus in TU Dublin and across the country. We see our buses and our trains busier and our cafes fall in the mornings. It's great to see this happening. But now more than ever, we need to celebrate all that is great about Irish construction. We need to stop, think and innovate. We need to bring forward new ways of working. And my main message to the industry this morning is, we need to work together for the common good of this sector. The title of this conference is Construction Innovations for Future Generations to create a smarter, cleaner, safer, and more efficient industry. And above all, to attract the new generation to our sector. CETA's mission has always been to connect you to innovation. So to break down this theme, we've looked at three sub-teams one of each of the days of our three-day conference. Today is about cultural change. Tomorrow is about unlocking innovation and using new technologies. And day three, so important to cherish our people, that people are the key to success. And so to people. I want to say a special thank you to the CETA events team, to Shannon, Elenia, Suzanne and Sam, to Teddy Kavna, Nicholas Cloak, the 60 presenters we're going to hear over the next two days. And to those 20 uh, presenters that also uh, produce papers for publication. To our 11 sponsors, to our chairs, to the scientific committee, to the organization committee, to Crowdcoms. But of all to you, to you as our delegates. Thank you. Thank you also to Autodesk, Excel, Colin, Diatech, Procure Technologies, Revisto. RIB Software, Celebri Vectorworks, BRE, and 5D Dimension. Thank you for your support. And thank you also to Crowdcoms. So please you know, select your preferred live stream, access our program, learn about our sponsors, network, and build your own schedule over the next three days. Over the next three days, we're going to hear from world-class speakers. Today, Rebecca DiCicco, Principal of Digital Operations at Aircon. Dr. Claire Penny, Global Digital Evangelist in Invicara. PJ Rudden, Chair of the Construction Sector Innovation and Digital Adoption Group at the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform. And Alan Waha, Chief Technology Officer of Borough Happold. Tomorrow we'll hear from Professor Thomas Bach, a world-renowned expert on building realization and robotics. May Winfield, Global Director of Commercial, Legal and Digital Risks at Borough Happold. Alexandra Bolton, Executive Director of Digital Build Britain and the University of Cambridge. Susan Kenneside, Senior Project Manager for the House of Commons in Canada. And finally, day three, Porik Delaney, London Regional Manager for Digital Construction, Sir Robert McAlpine. Liz O'Brien, DASB Manager, Limerick Institute of Technology. And our great friend and fellow director, David Falb, the Global BIM Information Management Consultancy Director at ACOM. So I want to just take the time to wish you all my very best wishes over the next three days. Let it begin. Let's start the gathering. Thank you.